Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Random Frank P. And welcome to part three now of building my gaming setup. Part one was showing you guys all the hardware and components that's going to go into the build. Part two was the actual step by step PC build guide. And now, part three, I'm going to be showing you guys how it performs, doing some benchmarking. And I'm going to show you guys how I pretty much rerouted all the cables on the inside, making it look a lot nicer, way better cable management, and some other aesthetic mods that I added to it just to make the PC look a lot cleaner to go along with my code name Glacier for it. So, I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, I'm going to start off showing you guys my cable management and some stuff at the end. I think you're going to like it. So I'm going to show you guys some of the changes I made uh, just to make it look a lot nicer and cleaner and to go along with my build. Very messy inside, but we'll get to that. One of the first things I did was start to swap out some of the fans inside the case. The NZX CH440 has those nice white uh, fans. There are three 120mm fans in the front. I swapped two of them out for Cooler Master fans. Um, now it goes along with the black and white you know, look to it, but the Cooler Master fans are a lot quieter and I think having a quiet build is a big bonus they max out at like 19 decibels and 16 decibels great fans and now one of the big things I wanted to talk about was the cable management when you're first starting your build it's not a top priority but when you go through it a second time and you have time to really make it look a lot cleaner and nicer I highly recommend doing so because having a sloppy build especially one without a case like mine or you have a huge window to look in you're not going to want to see cables just in there, laying there, in front of all your nice components. So one of the big things right off the bat I wanted to fix was this Corsair Link cable. So you can see it plugs right into my CPU cooler, goes up awkwardly in front of the, uh, the graphics card and into the bottom of the USB header on the motherboard. That was one of the things I wanted to fix immediately. Very easily so, we still routed it up since it goes up, and just we put it behind the graphics card, into the power supply bay, and then up around. Next was this, probably the most obnoxious cable I've ever seen. Uh, this is what's powering our CPU on the motherboard. Thankfully it is flat, so I had the idea to go in and kind of you know, split the two headers uh, for powering it and fish it around the back of the case and up to the top left of the motherboard um, in between the fan and the I.O. shield. You can see um, I'm trying to fish it there because since it is a flat cable, it makes it really easy to move around. Uh, since it's not like you know a round like thick cable um, you have a lot more freedom to where you can move it and slide it in between some objects so like I have there I just slid it right between the fan and the, uh, the, the, the top fan and the side fan and it fits in perfectly and we have it powered without it being across the entire build and there is just a ton of room on the H440 case you could see in the back in between by the side panel and the bottom where the power supply bay is there is just absolutely so much space for rerouting cables and uh, making everything nice and clean with zip ties a great case for cable management so as I mentioned in part one bit Phoenix was nice enough to send out two 60 uh, centimeter LED light strips they gave me two of the white ones to go along with my white and black build and I was very happy once I started to put them together and implement them into my build because it really brought it to a whole new level um, aesthetically and that's a big thing I never liked LED lights really on builds because I thought it was maybe too much a little bit too distracting um, but they're really not that bad and I'm kind of really happy I, I had added them it's very easy to put together and they turn on the second you turn your computer on um, they're powered by a Molex connector, so I'm sure you have a free one lying around somewhere from when you um, were messing around with your cables and all that stuff. Uh, just plug them in and they are automatically powered. I, Since I do have two, I put one on the top of my case and one on the bottom. And I think it really just brings my, uh, my appearance of my computer to a whole new level. I'll get you guys going with the nice little reveal here. And alright kind of building the suspense a little bit what's inside what how's it gonna look when you turn the lights on BAM nice and clean cable management to a whole new level white and black look is looking great and it's all accentuated by those LED lights like I said I have a strip um, 160 centimeter strip on the top of the case to kind of be like an overhead to shine down um, on all the components and I have one on the bottom underneath the case actually for it to be like um, like underglow kind of lighting for when I turn it on and I just think it looks really really nice I'm really digging the way it looks and it just makes it look even more clean on the inside even though the cable management is uh, pretty well done I just I'm really digging this guys if you can't tell so quick little before and after look horrible cable management to very nice and clean uh, well done I'm, I'm really liking it guys 
And just for some quick uh, benchmarking to show you guys how it performs, we started off using the 3D Mark II benchmark, which is a great test for putting it through a bunch of different strenuous activities and uh, physics engines, all that crazy stuff. But we scored a 12,975, which was uh, scored at 86% higher than the average or the normal computer. So for my gaming PC, I think it's going to handle all the games that I play regularly just fine. We also went with the benchmarking for Bioshock Infinite, and keep in mind with my setup, I am using the ultra wide monitor from LG. I have the 21 by 9 ratio, uh, 2560 by 1080p resolution monitor, and we max everything out to ultra settings that can go up to everything maxed, and we average 105.5 frames per second um, on Bioshock Infinite. Next up is GTA, I'll show you guys how we can play with that. And this one's definitely, um, since the newer patches came out, it kind of slowed the game down a bit. But don't worry, I think we're going to handle it just fine. So we got some pretty good results. I'm happy to inform that, again, with GTA 5 on my crazy monitor, with everything maxed out on very high settings, turned up to the fullest extent, we average around 62.8 frames per second. This uh, graphics card can be overclocked. I did not do it for these benchmarkings, just to show you how it can perform at its core setting. So I think it's going to handle all the games that I want to play just, just fine, and I couldn't be happier. All right, so it's currently 2.30 in the morning right now. This video is going to be finished very soon. I can upload it. You guys are going to watch it probably in a few hours. But I decided to make this video real quick to give you guys my input on three things that you guys are absolutely just up in arms about on my two videos about the build guide. Let's address these things. One, uh, no, I did not waste my money at all. I wasted zero dollars on this PC build. And I'll tell you why. If you've watched the videos, you've heard me say it numerous times, and I said it in other videos leading up to the build guide. This was a completely sponsored PC build guide. Only thing I bought was the case, the H440. If you look in the description of the video, I give a shout out to my sponsors. And even during part one, when I was going over all the hardware I was using, I gave a shout out to every one of my sponsors and my contact with that company for sending it out to me. So no, I did not waste my money. You guys can stop saying that. Two, now I'm gonna be real with you guys. Don't be offended, I'm just, I'm just talking to you guys. Um, you can respect my opinion just like I respect yours. Um, no, I did not want to use Intel. I said it again in the video, I used AMD in the past. I've never had a problem with it. I went with the 9590 over the i7-4790K, which everybody wanted me to use for a few reasons. Two of the main reasons being the processors. It is an eight core processor and it can go up to five gigahertz just out of the box without even overclocking. Um, I do a lot of video editing and a lot of gaming on that. That's gonna be the two primary uses for that PC. And having eight cores is extremely beneficial over something like four cores because multitasking is huge. And you know, when I'm video editing and photo editing and doing a bunch of stuff with processing video files, I need a lot of power to do that. And when I'm gaming, I wanna handle my games with no problems at all. Also while streaming on Twitch and encoding and all that stuff. So I'm with the 9590 because I knew it was going to do what I wanted just fine and that's all that matters. Yes, the i7-4790K is a great CPU. It's less power hungry, but it's not what I want. It's not what I wanted for this PC build guide. Please understand that. It is my decision. It's my choice. It's my PC. Just chill with it, guys. And yes, there is some tilt on the graphics card. The 980 Hall of Fame is a huge card. It is heavy. It has a huge plate on it. It's a heavy card, yes. But don't worry. Part 1 and Part 2 were both filmed on the same day last week. So an entire week has passed. I fixed the tilt that night to have something supporting it. You guys will see that in Part 4. But don't worry about the tilt. That's all been fixed, guys. <laughs> You guys are just up in arms about stuff, freaking out. It's like, just chill out, chill out. We're all having fun here. I love you guys. I'm making videos for you guys. I thought you would definitely appreciate it. Most of you do. Most of you are happy that I'm happy. But like I said, there's a lot of you out there who are just freaking out because I didn't build the PC that you wanted. So 
No, guys, I didn't waste my money. Sure, there's better components out there. Sure, there are. There's always going to be better components. But I went with that because it's what I wanted. I picked the RAM. I picked the CPU, the motherboard, the graphics card. I picked it all because it's my PC. So you guys can stop hating. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. I do have a part four coming out. Part four is going to be an update on the PC and some other additions that I'm adding in the future. And like it's adding to my setup and stuff like that. Um, so be on the lookout for part four. It's going to be coming sometime in the next maybe week or so. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update, like I said. So no hate, all love. I love you guys. All right, guys, that is part three. Hope you enjoyed. You saw the benchmarking and how it stacks up. You got to see me doing some new cable management and make it look a lot nicer and cleaner. And just some few notes real quick. Um, if you're wondering where Room Tour Project is for this week, or if you're wondering where my gaming setup is, I've ran into a few issues. You guys have probably seen me complaining on Twitter lately. Um, nothing too big, though. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to have Room Tour Project next week for sure, and I'm definitely working on bringing you guys um, my full game gaming setup for 2015, well the summer, so I guess version 2 of my gaming setup, but as you guys know my, my setup has completely changed over the past month, so do not worry, that setup is coming very very soon, just very minor issues I have to resolve first so I can bring it to you guys, and plus I have a lot of new stuff coming on the way that I want to add as well, so. So don't worry, it's coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed part three, and I hope you like this kind of three part series I did. I'm definitely gonna have a part four coming up um, in the near future, not too sure when. Uh, just some minor additions and show you guys the state of the PC then. So stay on the lookout for that. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions. Hit thumbs up as I did this, as I talked about Twitter. Hit thumbs up if you liked it, show your support. Hit me up on Twitter, comment down below, the whole yada yada yada. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, if you like tech stuff, I got a lot more coming for you guys. So I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.